He then opened their minds to understand the scriptures. About a month and a half ago, could be eight weeks, so I'll say two months ago, I had had kind of a, a, a busy day in the parish. I had some appointments. I remember I had a funeral that morning. I had to come over here to Catholic TV to, to do a little work. And then I was off to my yearly check-in with my doctor. Uh, just an eye test, same thing that we have every single year. And later on that night, after sunset, because the church was dark, so I know that it was before daylight savings, I went over to the church to say a few prayers and to get a little work done. And so in the dark, because I know the church so well, I went up the staircase to the second floor and went into the sacristy. And before I went into the church, I flipped on all the lights, the switches all right there on the lighting board. I remember as I was leaving the sacristy, going into the sanctuary of the church, I was looking at my watch. It, it counts steps, you know, and I wondered how many miles I had gone that day so far. It turned out to be seven. The lights were on. I was looking down, looking at my watch, seeing how many miles I had walked. And when I looked up, oh, the light. The light was so bright. I, 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 I couldn't believe how, how bright the church was. It, it, it looked different because it was so bright. I then realized, and maybe you already have, that the reason the church looked so bright and different was that when I went to the eye doctor to have my eyes checked, my eyes were dilated the pupils were wide, and a lot more light got in. In fact, in the moment, it was too much light. In a very real way, my friends, during this Easter season, that's what we are invited to see. The faith development of the disciples, who didn't necessarily know what was going to happen. And in the beginning, were surprised. And if you remember Easter Sunday morning, this whole coming to the awareness that Jesus had risen from the dead began with nothing more than an empty tomb, which opened their eyes just a bit. The light started to dawn in small doses. And after they had discussed what the empty tomb might have meant, and I'm sure many of them had a few ideas. That's when the appearances begin. Mary sees him in the garden. Yesterday, the disciples saw him on the road to Emmaus. Disciples, apostles would see him in the upper room. Slowly, day after day, appearance after appearance, the light was shared in small doses until eventually his glory was revealed and they knew exactly what had happened. Even today, when he meets with a group of disciples, they're still, they're still, it's, it's too big. The good news was too big for them. Finally, they come to see. My friends, in a very real way, that's what our spiritual development is all about. That's why it's so important to continue to take care of our faith, to nurture our faith. The past couple of days when we've celebrated Mass together, we see Peter. Peter, who just, just, just weeks ago hid away from Christ, denied Christ, told people he'd never met the man, I don't know him. Peter, who was always acting before he thought, bit of a hothead at times. And yet, after he had accepted the light in small doses over time, he came to understand who Jesus was for him and who he was meant to be for Jesus. It's the same for us. I'm willing to guess that all of us know Jesus a bit better now than we did 
five years ago, five years before that, 15 years ago. And my friends, that will continue. You will get to know him a little more every day. He will share that light with you, a little more light every day. All we need do is to continue to do what we do. Spend time listening to Scripture, praying Scripture. Spend time receiving the Eucharist. Spending time alone with Him so that He can, t- can continue to share with us who He is and in a very real way as Christians who He wants us to be.